This is Naina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Dubai with Elias Ghanem, the General Manager for the Middle East and North Africa at PayPal. Elias, how are you? Hi, Nina. How are you? Doing very well. Thank you. Good. So just sketch out for us, remind our viewers, where is PayPal right now in the Middle East in terms of where merchant and, um, and consumer accounts are enabled? So in fact, we announced recently that we started the operation of the Middle East. Today we have seven markets that are fully enabled, that buyers and sellers can have a PayPal account and transact. The seven markets are the entire GCC plus Jordan. In addition to that, we have also PayPal in Yemen. We have it in Morocco, in Tunisia, and in Algeria for consumers to open a PayPal account and be able to shop online. And where do you plan to expand in 2013? I think the, the whole MENA is a fantastic land for opportunities and the largest market where we are not yet in is Egypt. So watch the space. I think some people in Egypt are excited about that. Um, when it comes to looking at payment solutions in the region, I know that people have still have issues with them even though solutions are on the rise. Um, a lot of payment, a lot of the um, heads at payment solutions uh, throughout the region said at our COE conference in June that it was difficult for them to lower their prices until they're able to scale throughout the region. What is PayPal's view on that? So I think we need to help the e-commerce to grow. And our model is built for entrepreneurs. In fact, 99% of our merchants are small merchants. And small merchants has one single problem called cash flow. So if we charge them a lot at the beginning, they cannot build their business. Our payment structure, our fee structure is very simple and clear. In fact, you go on the website and you click fees and you would see it. So it's 3.4 plus a fixed fee. And then this percentage start decreasing as you build your business on a volume basis. No setup cost, no monthly fee, no ongoing charges. You sell, you pay, you don't sell, you don't pay. And that's the only way for a small enterprise to build a business. As scale builds up, rate goes down, rather than fees uh, evolve in the, in the wrong direction. And what about cash on delivery? Do you see a lot of competition? I mean, when you look at markets like Saudi Arabia, you know, people report seeing up to 80 to 90 percent of deliveries um, ordered using cash on delivery, and also the same in Egypt. How do you face that challenge? I think cash on delivery is today the main inhibitor to the growth of the e-commerce. It's a, it's a problem that we need to have because it brings people to start the e-commerce, but at the same time it's a big problem because it kills a lot of value of the e-commerce. It costs money, it creates frictions, it creates stress, and at the end of the day, every player, the consumer must be at home. The merchant must send you the goods to your place. The delivery must make sure that somebody is here to, to pick up the, the stuff. All this, and then if one of the elements is not working, now the goods are shipped back to the, to the store. That costs money, that takes time, and that makes it inefficient. The more we reduce the cash on delivery, and what I mean we is every stakeholder of the, the value chain, the more the e-commerce will grow. And we believe at PayPal we have really the, the right way to reduce cash on delivery because my theory on cash on delivery is trust. If I trust you, I don't need us to interact for me to get the goods and me to pay you. So if we put somebody in between that brings the trust, probably we will be willing to do a transaction without having the cash exchange it with the goods. Yeah, it's a tricky thing. It's part trust, probably part cultural. Um, when it comes to these issues, how do you see e-commerce in the Middle East evolving over the next five years? I'm seeing it. It's fantastic. Uh, I've been working before that in Asia. And now coming to the Middle East, I'm a lot comparing these two markets. Well, I'm seeing us here growing extremely fast and starting to get some ideas on what is in Asia, where e-commerce is everywhere. People are doing arbitrage all the time between the goods I can find locally and the goods I can find on a cross-border basis. When you see here uh, Namshi, Souk, uh, Kobon, who are starting to build their business here, Marka VIP, as well as large airlines that are accepting PayPal, being Qatar Airways, being Emirate Airways, it's exactly where we want to take the business. My challenge is once I gave these few names, there's not so many others. 
So really the opportunity is to help entrepreneurs take their business online so they can sell, the e-commerce grows, the trust grows, and we reach out, we, we get back to the same level where Asia or Europe is in a few years. I think it'll be really interesting to check in with PayPal in six months or a year and just see how this, how the data is evolving, how the user consumer behavior is evolving, um, just given that you're opening merchant accounts in new markets. I think it'll be a very interesting time. You know what? I'm very bullish on what we can do in this region. PayPal has uh, we announced a strategy saying every three years we want to double the business. Well, I have the same strategy here. Uh, we have some 5% of market share for the time being. We expect our uh, market share to move to 10% on a bigger pie, by the way, in the next few years. So we want to enable consumers to go online, giving them safety and giving them easiness to shop. We want to help merchants take their business online by giving them a payment solution that is accepted locally, as well as regionally within the Middle East, as well as globally. Consumers tell us uh, with research that when they see the PayPal brand as an acceptance, they will shop on the merchant. I hope that if we can give that to the merchant locally, they will be making much more money and growing their business. I hope so too. Thanks so much for chatting with Wamda. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you.